Hello, my friend. Welcome back to the Memorial of the Hourglass. On today's journey, we will commemorate the famous women who were tragically murdered, all of whom died unjustly. The murderers have paid the price, but there are also deaths that remain mysteries to this day. Justice will be served. Rest in peace. The death of Nicole Dufresne, a famous playwright and actress, was a great shock to the artist community and society. On the night of January 27, 2005, on a deserted street of Manhattan's Lower East Side, the lives of her and three close friends were ended by a sudden attack by a group of teenagers. The attack not only took Dufresne's life, but also shook people's minds and trust in street security. Nicole Dufresne is not only an excellent actress, but also a talented author, leaving a deep impression in the performing art. She and her fiancé, Jeffrey Sparks, had been waiting for a happy future before tragedy struck. Her loss is a huge hole in the artist community and a heartbreaking reminder of the dangers of the urban world and the state of security on the streets of the big city. Daniela Perez, a famous Brazilian actress and dancer, experienced a bloody tragedy when her life was taken on the night of December 28, 1992, when she was only 22 years old. In a brutal attack, she was stabbed to death with 18 deep knife wounds to her neck, lungs, and heart. Daniela's death was not only a great loss for her family and relatives, but also shocked Brazilian society. Notably, this crime stemmed from the jealousy and private ambition of Guilherme de Pidua, Daniela's co-star in a television series. This event caused public outrage and caused major changes in the country's legal system. Even though Daniela is gone, her name will forever live on in the hearts of those who loved her and in the art scene where she made her mark. Susan Cabot, a famous American actress, ended her life in tragedy on December 10, 1986, when her 22-year-old son, Timothy Scott Roman, attacked and killed her at her home in Los Angeles. Roman claimed that his actions were in self-defense after Cabot attacked him. However, the trial found no evidence to support this, and he was sentenced to three years in prison for involuntary manslaughter. Cabot's life was full of tragedy from the height of his screen fame to his final days filled with obsession and mental illness. During her career, she has succeeded with many outstanding roles, contributing to the image of a charming and talented actress in the film industry. She is remembered for films such as Tomahawk, 1951, The Duel at Silver Creek, 1952, and Gunsmoke, 1953, and Susan Cabot's name still lives on in the hearts of movie fans. On November 7, 2001, Filipino fans and the whole world witnessed a mysterious tragedy when famous actress and comedian Nita Blanca was found murdered at the Atlanta Center in the city San Juan. Blanca's sudden passing shocked and shocked the artist community. Before this mysterious death, Blanca had achieved great fame in the Philippine film and television industry. With her emotional and humorous roles, she conquered the hearts of the audience and left a deep impression on them. Her role in the television sitcom John and Marsha cemented Blanca's status as an icon of the Philippine small screen. Even though she is no longer alive, Nita Blanca's name and talent still live forever in the memories of art and film lovers. Barry Berenson, an entertainment icon with many talents in acting, modeling, and photography, ended his life in a painful and tragic way. On September 11, 2001, Berenson returned home to Los Angeles from a vacation on Cape Cod, but never arrived safely. On American Airlines Flight 11, Berenson and all the other passengers witnessed a horrific scene as the plane was hijacked and crashed into the North Tower of the World Trade Center in a terrorist attack in Manhattan. This event not only caused great loss to Berenson's family and relatives, but also to the entire artist community. Before his tragic death, Berenson left behind an undeniable legacy in entertainment. 
From beautiful photos appearing in famous magazines to diverse roles in movies, Berenson has entered people's hearts with her talent and passion. Even though he has passed away, Berenson's name and achievements are still respected and remembered in the hearts of fans and colleagues. Barbara Colby, famous American actress, ended her life in a painful and mysterious way on July 24, 1975. She and fellow actor James Kiernan were on their way to their car. They were after attending an acting lesson in Palms, Los Angeles, California when they were shot in a parking area. Notably, the incident occurred after the first three episodes of Colby's upcoming television series, Phyllis, were filmed. Colby died at the scene, while Kiernan was able to describe the shooting to police before succumbing to his injuries. However, the perpetrator has not yet been identified, and the case remains an unsolved mystery. She was separated from her husband, Ethel Merman's son, and although her final role on Phyllis aired posthumously, it was still a heartbreaking farewell to the community. Art. Piseth Felika, a bright female artist and famous Cambodian actress, met a tragic end when she was murdered on June 6, 1999 by Prime Minister Hun Sen's jealous wife. However, Felika's life before that was colorful and successful. She and Kai Prazeth, a famous actor, met while working on film projects. Their love turned into marriage in 1990, and they had a child in 1992. Piseth Filica is not only a talented actress, but also a typical dancer of Cambodian culture. With more than 60 films and many famous music videos, she has contributed to making a name for herself in the entertainment industry. Filica's talent is shown not only on screen, but also on stage, as she has performed all over the world from Asia to Europe and America. Rhea Mitchell, famous actress and screenwriter, shone in the golden age of silent cinema with more than 100 films. However, her life ended in tragedy. In 1957, while managing a large apartment in Los Angeles, Rhea was attacked and murdered in her home. Sonny Hartford, junior a disgruntled maid, used the strap of her blue silk dress to commit this heartbreaking act. This event shocked the community and is a mystery that remains unsolved. Despite her heartbreaking death, Rhea's artistic legacy lives on, contributing to the history of cinema. She is a symbol of a golden age and will forever live in the hearts of her fans. Rhea Mitchell's story is a lesson in the passion and tragedy of an artist's life. Gemma McCluskey, famous British actress, is known for her role as Carrie Skinner in the BBC television series EastEnders. However, her life ended in a heartbreaking tragedy. On 1 March 2012, McCluskey went missing from her flat in East London, and her headless body was later found in Regent's Canal. Her brother, Tony McCluskey, was later charged with her murder and convicted. The investigation and search caused shock and regret in the artist community and the public. Gemma McCluskey, with her extraordinary performance in EastEnders, left an indelible mark on entertainment, and her death remains a huge loss to fans and colleagues. Dorothy Stratton, Canadian model and actress, best known as a Playboy Playmate. She was Playmate of the Month in August 1979 and Playmate of the Year in 1980. This role made her an icon in the entertainment industry. However, her career and life ended tragically when she was murdered shortly after starring in the film Galaxina at the age of 20 by her estranged husband and manager Paul Snyder. Stratton's death shocked the film industry and highlighted the issue of marital violence and the exaggeration of male strength in society. The event also became the inspiration for many works of art and culture, including films, books, and songs.
Sharon Tate, a promising actress and model in American cinema, is known for her seductive beauty and natural acting talent. However, her fate was tied to a heartbreaking tragedy. On August 9, 1969, Tate and four others became victims of a brutal attack carried out by the Manson family. Before this sudden death, Tate had established his reputation in the film industry with memorable roles in Barabbas, Eye of the Devil, and Valley of the Dolls. With her charismatic beauty and top acting ability, she has attracted the attention and admiration of a large audience. She was eight and a half months pregnant, adding pain and regret to the tragic end of this talented woman's life. Although she passed away too soon, Sharon Tate's legacy and talent still live on in the hearts of movie fans around the world. Emnika Speer, a famous Venezuelan actress, model and beauty pageant title holder, met a heartbreaking end on January 6, 2014. She and her ex-husband, Thomas Berry, became victim of a highway robbery while relaxing in his hometown of Venezuela with his five-year-old daughter. Although her daughter survived the bloody attack, Speer and Barry were gone forever. The death of Monica Speer caused a wave of anti-government protests in Venezuela, especially due to increased crime. In addition to being a Venezuelan beauty pageant title holder and winning Miss Venezuela 2004, Speer represented the country at the Miss Universe 2005 pageant in Bangkok, Thailand, where she placed as runner-up, Ford. After her modeling career, Speer turned to acting and became a successful actress in Venezuelan and American television series, leaving a deep mark in the entertainment industry. Selena, the queen of Tejano music, became a potential music and fashion icon before her heartbreaking death in 1995. At the time, her relationship with Yolanda Saldvar, her manager, the management of Selena's fan club has gone down the drain. One morning at the Days Inn Hotel, Selena met Saldvar to get her tax papers back, but things took a different turn when Saldvar tried to delay the handover by talking about a rape in Mexico. Selena didn't believe it and took Saldvar to the hospital for a checkup, but there were no signs of this. When she asks for the papers again, a terrifying encounter occurs. Saldvar pulled out a gun and shot Selena, causing the singer to run into the hallway calling for help. But the injury was too severe and Selena later passed away. She left behind a great legacy in entertainment and music, described by Billboard as the top Latin artist of the 90s. Selena remains an icon and inspiration for many people around the world. Lana Clarkson, a famous actress and fashion model in the American entertainment industry, ended her passionate journey on February 3, 2003, when she passed away at the age of 40. She was known for charming beauty and bright acting talent. Clarkson's life sadly ended in the mansion of famous music producer Phil Spector. She was found dead and police determined that she had been shot to death. This event caused a great stir in the entertainment industry and became one of the most famous cases in Los Angeles crime history. Although Lana Clarkson's life ended in tragedy, her talent and popularity lived on through the films and advertising campaigns she participated in. Even though she has passed away, she is still remembered as a symbol of the entertainment industry and a part of its history. Christina Grimmy, a famous American pianist and singer, left a deep mark in the music industry with her voice and creative talent. She is known for creating unique covers of hit songs from top artists like Miley Cyrus, Demi Lovato, Selena Gomez, and many others. However, Grimmy's promising career came to an abrupt end on June 10, 2016, when she was attacked with a gun by a stranger after a performance in Orlando, Florida. Grimmy was hospitalized in critical condition and eventually passed away, leaving behind deep condolences from fans around the world. The sudden passing of Christina Grimmy is a great loss to the music community and a lasting memory of her talent and enthusiasm.
Judith Barcy, a promising child actress in the 1980s, began her career with roles on television before switching to film. She is known for her roles in films such as Jaws, The Revenge, The Land Before Time and All Dogs Go to Heaven, where she voiced adorable animated characters. However, Judith's bright career came to an abrupt end when she and her mother, Maria, were both killed in a murder-suicide by her father in July 1988. It was a loss, huge for the film industry and left a heartbreaking emotional void. The potential and talent that Judith Barcy has to offer. Judith Barcy, a promising young talent in the film industry, met a tragic end when she and her mother, Maria, became victims of a murder-suicide committed by her father, Aunt Jayzef, in July 1988. Barcy's heartbreaking loss shocked and highlighted the problem of domestic violence in society. Judith Barcy's story later became a highlight in art and media works, especially when it highlighted the issue of child protection and reducing violence in the family. Although she left life too soon, her talent and potential are still remembered and cherished in the film industry, serving as a heartbreaking reminder of the consequences of domestic violence and the need to it is necessary to protect the weak. Dominique Dunn, a promising young actor in the film industry, met a heartbreaking end when he was murdered in 1982, when he was only 22 years old. Her loss sent shockwaves and highlighted issues of violence and safety in the entertainment industry. Dunn's career began with supporting roles in television films and television shows in the late 1970s and early 1980s. Her breakthrough came when she starred in the horror film Poltergeist, 1982, where she took on the lead role of Dana Freeling. The film became one of the classic haunted films, marking Dunn's fame in the industry. Marie Trintignant, a top French stage and screen star, died suddenly in 2003 due to a vicious attack by her ex-boyfriend singer Bertrand Cantat who was famous for the rock band Noir Desire. Trintignant, who came from a family with an artistic tradition, died after being attacked by Cantat at a hotel in Lithuania, where she was working on a film project with her mother. The incident caused serious injuries to her head and face, leading to Trintignant's death from cerebral edema. The case has caused controversy on the issue of domestic violence and social attitudes towards the perpetrator. Cantat was sentenced to eight years in prison for murder with indirect intent but only served four years before being released early, causing mixed reactions in the community. Kadamba Simmons, an English actress and model, met with tragedy in her life and her death caused a great stir. After spending some time in Goa, India, she began a relationship with Yanov Malka, a former Israeli soldier. However, this relationship quickly became unstable and ended tragically. On June 13, 1998, Simmons was found dead in his London apartment. She was strangled and hanged in the bathroom. Police later arrested Malka, who admitted to killing Simmons. Malka was sentenced to life in prison for Simmons' murder, a sentence that Judge Elgin Edwards described as depriving Simmons of a promising life. Although Malka tried to argue that Simmons' death was part of a suicide pact, he still received a harsh sentence. This case has caused great outrage and reaction from public opinion, especially with Malka's inhumane actions and the passing of Simmons, a young talent. Jenny Maxwell, the shining star of Elvis Presley's Blue Hawaii, met a mysterious and heartbreaking end. On June 10, 1981, she and her estranged friend were shot and killed during a robbery at their Beverly Hills apartment. Although this case remains unsolved, a recent book revealed surprising facts. According to author Buddy Morehouse, 
the LAPD concluded that the shooting may have affected Maxwell, related to financial problems resulting from her divorce. Roeder, Maxwell's estranged friend and lawyer, is said to have staged the robbery to solve his financial problems. Indeed, after the failed robbery, Roeder, who was the apparent target of the attack, survived and subsequently inherited Maxwell's entire fortune, leaving her son nothing. This highlights the irony and pain in the ending of Jenny Maxwell's life and her love affair with Roeder. Tara Correa McMullen, a promising young actress, tragically passed away at just 16 years old. On October 21, 2005, she was shot and killed in front of an apartment complex in Inglewood, California, in a gang-related shooting. Tara's sudden passing left many people sad and shocked. She left behind a promising future in the entertainment industry. But unfair fate cut off all her aspirations and dreams. Even though she has left this world, Tara's name still lives on in the memories of those who loved her. The story of her life and tragic death has been the subject of documentary shows such as the series Avenue of Broken Dreams and the 2024 season of Death by Fame, with a special episode titled A Rising Star Shot Down, Help Her Be Remembered Forever. Vanessa Marquez a talented American actress, became the center of attention when she passed away on August 30, 2018, in a tragic event at her home in South Pasadena, California. This event eventually led to an armed confrontation between her and local police. The controversial incident began when police were called to check on Marquez's health condition. Things quickly turned chaotic, and Marquez ended up being shot multiple times after pointing a fake gun at police. She was taken to a nearby hospital, but eventually passed away. After Marquez's death, her mother sued the city of South Pasadena, alleging injustice and police misconduct. The case finally ended in February 2021 with a $450,000 settlement between the city and Marquez family. The story of Vanessa Marquez's death is not only a personal tragedy, but also a heartbreaking testament to the problem of police brutality and injustice in the justice system. Adrienne Shelley, an icon of creativity in the independent film industry, left this world in a mysterious and heartbreaking way. She is known for her diverse career, from acting to directing and scriptwriting. However, Shelley's life ended suddenly in 2006 when she was attacked and murdered in her apartment. Her death was initially ruled a suicide, but was later discovered to have been caused by the brutal actions of a construction worker in the building where she lived. After Shelley's tragic death, her husband, Andy Astroy, established the Adrienne Shelley Foundation to honor her memory and support young artists. Every year, the Adrienne Shelley Award is given to outstanding cinematic works that reflect opposition to violence against women. Adrienne Shelley is not only a talented artist, but also a symbol of kindness and great artistic talent. Corinne Kupchinet, actress and daughter of a famous journalist, met a mysterious end in the early 1960s. After a short period of work in the acting industry, she was found dead in home. In West Hollywood, California, just six days after the assassination of President John F. Kennedy, Kupchinet's death remains an unsolved murder case and is closely linked to the assassination, generating hundreds of theories and conspiracy theories. Her father has strongly opposed all theories about his daughter's involvement in the assassination. Even though many years have passed, Corinne Kupchinet's death is still an unsolved mystery, sowing seeds of doubt and curiosity in the public's mind. Luisa Ferrita one of the famous divas of Italian cinema in the decade 1935-1945, left a deep mark with tragic events in her life. She was assassinated along with her lover, Osvaldo Valenti, an actor and member of Decima Flatiglia MAS during a tense period following the Italian Civil War. 
Their mysterious deaths, shortly after a summary trial, led to both being accused of participating in war crimes and torture. However, after the war, Luisa Ferrita was found innocent and war pensions were allocated to the single mother. Osvaldo Valenti, who had links to fascist officials and figures, was also sentenced to death. Both were shot immediately on the streets of Milan without any proper trial. The truth about their deaths remains a great mystery, with many unorthodox versions and theories. Anne Presley, famous American actress and news anchor, died painfully in October 2008 due to assassination in a real estate dispute. Born in Greenville, South Carolina in 1982, Anne moved to Little Rock, Arkansas with her family while she was in high school. On the morning of October 20, 2008, just half an hour before the morning show was broadcast, Anne was found motionless in bed with many injuries on her body. Her mother, Patricia Kennedy, discovered Anne's inability to reach her by phone. It appears that the crime was more than just a robbery, because one of Anne's purses was moved from its original location. Anne was treated in hospital, but later died on October 25, 2008, just five days after the attack.